Hey, Viola Rolls here, and welcome back to Professor Layden and the Spectre's Call. So, I'm still going around and doing all the puzzles that I need to do before I go on to the next story segment. So let's see if Aunt Taffy has one. You're a tenacious one, aren't you? I told you, no adult is getting a single one of my humbugs. No, really, I'm not bothered in the slightest. You're very bothered by it. Then take your eyes off them this instant. Oh, for crying out loud. New episode has been added to the trunk. Aunt Taffy. Ooh. Let's go ahead and check out that. Aunt Taffy. In the world of confectioners, Taffy is unmatched, but she only sells to children. Over the years, she has become an expert at dissuading hopeful grown-ups. So this should be interesting to watch. Aunt Taffy, can I get some sweeties? Oh, it's you. Let's see. What are you after today? Hmm. I do love the triple nut nougat, but I think I'll go for fruit drops this time. Oh, I nearly forgot. I have a special creation today. It's brand new. Really? Give me that then, please. Here you go. You're my best customer, so you get one for free. Come back again soon, boy. Thank you. Ah, oh, I couldn't live without Aunt Taffy's sweets. Well, you're gonna have to when you grow up. I see business is brisk. Well, look who's here. Hello, Vern. Need something? Oh, look at those gummies. They're lovely and green. green horrific Green-tastic. Oh, right. Vernon's the, uh, nature nut. You keep your hands off those before I give them a slap. You're such a miser. No need to get so worked up about a few sweets. You know full well I don't make sweets for adults. And that applies to you, too. See, this is why you never found a husband. And you used to be so sweet, too. Ha! Huh. And what about you, Vernon? No one ever married you either, you old coot. Oh, wow. <laughs> I've had a companion all my life, a real beauty. Her name is Green, and she holds the key to my heart. Never have I been tempted by any other color, be it red, yellow, or blue, let alone a woman. What if my wife were to wear a color besides green? Why, it would be too much to bear. You could just make it so that that's a part of the stipulation for getting married, I guess? I don't know. Enough, enough. You're insane, you know? I can't believe we're even related. Oh, they're related. I was about to say the same thing. Now I'll have one of these green gummies. Hmm, <laughs> just take it, why don't you? Bullying your little sister for sweets? Aren't you the gentleman? And Clarence is just as bad. Hmm, can't hear you. Sorry. Hmm, these are good. You have a luster touch taff. Green-tastic. Your face is green-tastic, you buffoon. <laughs> okay, that's interesting to learn about Taffy and Vernon, that they're siblings. Hmm, huh, I found the next puzzle. Good day. Welcome. Please come closer. Fresh fruit and veg. Fish straight from the river. Hmm. What's on offer today? Aha! Uh -huh. Well, miss, today I recommend these pretty little trout. Hmm. They do look lovely and fresh, but I have no way to cook them. No problem at all. Our local fish are so healthy, they don't need to be cooked to be enjoyed. I don't think that's how fish works. You mean, eat them raw? I know you can eat them raw, but just because they look healthy, that doesn't mean they should be eaten raw. Well, you seem like the adventurous sort, if I may say so. Just squeeze a little lemon juice on them. Hmm. Well, I do like trying new things, and they do look nice. And we also have lemons. In fact, if you buy the fish, I'll give you the lemons free of charge. Hmm. It's very tempting, but I can't very well go investigating with a bag full of fish. Good point. I suppose not. Oh, well. In that case, how about some freshly pressed orange juice? 113, Crystal Carafez. Three shopkeepers each have two Crystal Carafez filled with juice for sale. They are all selling the same type of juice and at the same price, but they offer different sizes of carafe. Small, medium, and large. I've decided to buy one large carafe of juice. Can you tell which shopkeeper I will buy it from? Okay, so let's take a look. Oh, let's see. The one in the back is the largest one. It's really hard to see. I'll handle this one, Professor. That puzzle was no problem. Carafty. 
Shopkeeper C is selling the large carafe. You can tell by looking at the level of liquid in the outlines of the carafe. And on the top, it shows you the top view of each one. Well, you solved my puzzle, so I'll give you some juice for free today. Ah, in that case, I might try some. Thanks for stopping by. Please come again sometime. That girl could sell feathers to a raven. Yeah, she's very good at her job. Let's continue. Oh, crow has a puzzle. Did you like our Black Raven trial? It's based on the Bird of Illusion, a part of the Golden Garden legend. What's that? The legend tells of a bird that guides those who seek the Golden Garden. I recall a line about it kissing the sun and opening a door to paradise, or something to that effect. Phew, you're a walking encyclopedia, Professor. Mr. Layton is an archaeologist from London. He knows an awful lot. Color me impressed. You'll have no trouble solving this, then. So what are we doing? 114. Typing numbers. 35 picarons. This typewriter only has numbered keys. Pressing a single key types out that number immediately, but pressing subsequent keys takes an extra second for each key further along the keyboard from the previous key. For example, pressing 1, then 2 takes 1 second. Pressing 1, then 3 takes 2 seconds. What is the minimum time in seconds required to type 68060 as shown on the paper? Hmm. So let's see. 68060. So 6 to 8. So that would be 2 seconds. Then 0. That would be another 2 seconds. So it would be 4. And all the way back to 6. So that would be another 2, 4, 6 seconds. So it'd be 10, and then another 6 seconds to go back, so it'd be 16. Hmm, that seems a little bit long for this puzzle, especially since it's 35 Picarot, so obviously there's a trick to it. Which would be 1 second, 2 seconds, 4 seconds, 5 seconds. Ah, there's the trick! So they wrote it out and then flipped it upside down to tricky. Clever. No puzzle is without an answer. That's right. Typing out 09089, then turning the paper upside down will give you 68060, and will only take 5 seconds. Archaeology professors are in a different league. Ever since you saw through our disguise, I knew we were dealing with someone special. Hmm, so you believe the Golden Garden is in this town? Is that why you based your trial on its legend? That's correct. It has to be here somewhere. We just haven't discovered it yet, that's all. I like the attitude. Haha, <laughs> yes, I believe it's here too. I wonder where, or maybe it's not even a garden. Maybe it's just like a trinket or something, or it's just a riddle. Oh, hello. So fed up with this. Fed up to the back teeth. What's wrong? I've been trying to work out this puzzle the whole day, and now I can't stand the sight of it. That is annoying. Um, can I help? So what puzzle is this? 115. Market shortcut. 75 picarons. Oh god. There are several roads of crisscrossing... There are several roads crisscrossing the marketplace. From the entrance, you want to pass over every section of road and reach the exit without ever taking the same stretch of road twice. Draw a single straight line showing the road that would need to be constructed to make this possible. The new road can only start and end at existing intersections or corners. Oh, I can see why this one's a tough one. You could put the road here and go directly to the exit, but that would be cheating. So the only other solution I can think of is that the road would have to be like this, because that's the only one that makes sense to me. Let's go ahead and submit it and see what happens. I think this is right. Oh, it is right. Nice. That was it. Correct. What a convoluted path to traverse. If it only went directly from the entrance to the exit, you wouldn't have to take so many detours. That wasn't half bad. Maybe now I can concentrate on my job. I thought you rich kids were all stuck-up nuisances, but maybe I was wrong. 
It's a bit of a hassle, but if you ever need help, give us a call. Will do. Right. Thanks. I like that they're warming up to Luke. Found another. I collect odds and ends to help my mom out, but one day I'll be rich and powerful. That's the plan, anyway. So for the time being, I'll just grin and bear it. Collecting, collecting. It's not so bad, really. If you say so. 116. Stained glass. 30 picarons. Let's see. The stained glass window below is split into four triangular panels that combine to create a single design. Place the panels within the window frame to complete the design. Okay, so I can see why it's only 30. It's not that difficult of a puzzle. Hmm. So let's see. Yep, like I said, not that hard of a puzzle. I already solved it. <laughs> How about this? You think the middle has to connect, but it's actually just the edges. I knew I could do it. It's deceptive that way. Well done. Well, that's a fine piece of stained glass. These panes were separated during a specter attack and just left lying, so I nabbed them. Even in pieces, this window is pretty, isn't it? Still, it'd be nice if I, could get, if I could get a brand new one. Wouldn't it be amazing to live in a house with stained glass windows? I can just see it. Yeah, I guess it would be nice. Maybe not all of the windows be stained glass, but some of them. What with the Spectre messing everything up, my plans for the future are all moot, though. Weren't you going to do something about that? Get a move on. We're working on it. Calm down. Okay, found another. There's rumors of a specter or some such roaming in town, so I've decided to stay down here. Is that why you decided to stay down here, or is it just an excuse to go to the auction? Not only is it safe, it's safety in style. Well, I suppose you probably don't notice the specter attacks from down here. But what if the ceiling comes down on you? That's a very good point. Don't be silly, it's perfectly safe. Who in their right mind would want to destroy this fabulous place? Yeah, who indeed. But anyway, more importantly, I have a serious problem here. Which is, what, a puzzle? If I don't solve this puzzle before the next auction, I won't be allowed to take part. What? 117, a token puzzle. 45 Picarox. It's not safe carrying around large sums of money at the auction house, so this particular establishment offers tokens in exchange for money. Heart tokens are worth 5,000 pounds, clubs are worth 10,000 pounds, and diamonds 50,000 pounds. Sixteen buyers each have one token and have been seated in four rows of four. The sum of the tokens in each row and column are shown in thousands of pounds on the side of the bottom. On the side and at the bottom. Can you work out which token each buyer holds? Um, so let's see. So going about solving this, so these are the totals. I guess we should start with the one that's the least amount, which is the 20. So, since there's four in a row, so all of these would have to be heart tokens. Because 5,000, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000. So, let's work from there. So, see, in this row, so we would have 10,000, 20,000, 30,000. So, this would have to be a heart token as well. Um... And then for this one, you'd have 10, 20, 30, 35. Okay, so that one's fine as is. And this, for this one, you'd have um, 35, so that would be so 10, 20, 50, 60. So this one would have to be a heart token, I think. So 50, 55, 60, 65.
50, 60, 70. Okay, so that doesn't work for this one. So this has to be the heart here. It means this has to be a club. I think. No, this has to be a heart as well. Right. Right, because these ones and these ones have to match because they have the same amount in them. So 50, 60, 70, 80. For this one, 50, 60, 70, 75, 50, 60, 70, 75. This would be 50, 75, 75, 20, 30. 80, 30, 35, 65, 75. Yeah, that looks like that's correct to me. What do you think about this? Yeah, it's just simple math for that one. Correct. It's pretty easy to work out once you realize that column C has to contain four heart tokens. New fish tank. Spindly spires. Hmm. Ah, it all makes sense now. Great, this is my ticket into the next auction. I wonder where the Black Raven has gone. He's always keeping me waiting. Well, the Black Raven's busy right now, so you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer. So let's go ahead and check out the aquarium stuff that I just got. Okay, I think this is the solution for this one. Let's go ahead and test it. Oh, it hits the rocket bubbles last. Okay. You got a new fish tank. Lady Mobile's Amble. Okay, cool. I got the last one off of that one. So let's go ahead and do that one as well. I think this is the solution. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, it goes through all the rapid bubbles first. Okay. Well, almost all of them. Oh, it doesn't even need that last one. Okay, wow. Congratulations, your fish has conquered every fish tank. Awesome. The biologist's house has been added to Leighton's challenges. Okay, I'm gonna guess that's bonus content for this game because there is a bonus section on the intro screen, but I'm not gonna bother with the intro, with the uh, bonus stuff. Okay, and I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. If you guys enjoyed this one, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all next time.